GlassX is an open source interactive lecture streaming system developed at Stanford University. It offers a low cost solution for lecture capture and an interactive user experience. Lecture videos are conventionally captured in studio classrooms, equipped with multiple cameras mounted to capture different regions of the classroom, as well as expensive and sophisticated control equipment to operate the cameras. Additionally, a human operator is needed to operate the equipment and produce the video. Conventional lecture capture is limited by the availability of such studio classrooms and the cost of equipment and operation. Another important consideration is that users sometimes want to view different regions of the video, whereas conventional lecture capture produces a very confined view where everyone is forced to watch what the cameraman thought would be the important region. Class X offers an alternative technology that requires only simple and low-cost equipment to record a lecture, and furthermore allows each user to view his own region of interest. Using only a consumer-grade HD camcorder, a tripod, and a wireless microphone, a high-quality capture of the classroom can be taken. Such simple equipment makes it easy for anyone to set up the recording at the beginning of the lecture. Since the camera is set up to capture the whole classroom, no manual operation is required once the recording is initiated. Initially, the user sees an overview of the whole classroom. The user may pan and zoom using the mouse or by clicking on the overview window at the corner of the screen. Class X also offers an automatic tracking mode where the video automatically follows the lecturer in the scene. ClassX can also automatically synchronize electronic slides with video, allowing the user to view the slide alongside the video, or to use slides to seek in the video. The ClassX video player is offered in Silverlight and Flash, and hence requires no additional plugins to be installed. ClassX also offers video players for mobile devices such as iPhones, iPads, and Android-enabled tablets and smartphones. So how does ClassX provide these features? First, the recorded HD video is uploaded to the server, where it is supplied to an interactive region of interest video transcoder whose job is to transcode this video into multiple tiles to facilitate spatial random access. The input video is also supplied to a tracking tile generator, whose job is to produce the single video tile that is played in automatic tracking mode. If an electronic slide set is uploaded, it is supplied along with the recorded video to the automatic slide synchronizer whose job is to generate a manifest containing all slide timing information. After this process is complete, the resulting video files and manifests are stored on the server to allow the system to serve content to the users in a scalable manner. We do not fragment the video files. Instead, we use over-the-top HTTP streaming to serve the video requests. Now, let's go over the system components in more detail. The interactive region of interest transcoder first downsamples the video to generate multiple resolution layers. Each layer is then divided into a number of tiles. 
Each tile is an independently decodable H264 stream. When the user specifies a new region of interest, the player chooses an optimum set of tiles to cover the region of interest and requests those tiles from the server. The purpose of Class Access Tracking Tile Generator is to produce a video mimicking a natural camera view that follows the lecturer in the scene. On each input video frame, the background is subtracted from the frame and the difference image is supplied to a template matching that uses a set of templates of the lecturer to locate the lecturer in the scene. When the lecturer is located, we also update the lecturer templates to adapt to changes in posture. After the lecturer trajectory is discovered, it is smoothed and then used to crop the tracking tile out of the input video. The automatic slide synchronizer is responsible for determining which of the slides in the slide deck is the one shown in the current video frame. First, we extract features from each slide in the slide deck. Afterwards, for the input video frames, we extract features and input the frame's video features for a pairwise comparison against the feature sets of the slides in the slide deck. The matching result is the slide with the highest number of matching features. Class X has been released as an open source project in April of 2010. It offers two methods for installing Class X on a server. The first method provides you with source code for the Class X backend and web system interfaces, which you can check out and build on your hosting server. The second method offers a pre-built Class X server saved as a virtual machine image, which you may download and instantiate on the hosting server. For more information about Class X, please visit the Class X homepage at classx.stanford.edu or visit the Class X open source page at classx.sourceforge.net.